How's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to, I made some wrist straps for my snowboarding gloves or mitts. You can make them for either or. They're pretty, it's a pretty cheap and ineffective way to add a wrist strap here to your glove, which is super convenient when you're snowboarding on your chairlift and you want to take your glove off. Alright, so first off, I start out with a bunch of stuff I got at Walmart. Everything here I've got for less than a dollar at Walmart in the... Um, the area where you can get sewing equipment and also in the do-it-yourself for uh, jewelry repair and equipment to be able to make this. So first thing I'll do is I'll look for an area to attach my, they call a lobster clasp, onto the glove. And I got it right here. And what I'll do, it doesn't really fit on this little spot here, so this part's a little too thick. So I'll either attach it to this little manufacturing tag here or either the little area holding on how I attach the two gloves together so what I'll do is I'll run my lobster clasp through this little area Can be a little difficult to get through, but once you get it, there it goes. Okay, so once my lobster claps is wrapped around and it's on there pretty secure, the next thing I'll use is they call them split rings. Um, it's just like something you'd see on your your uh, what you would hold all your car keys on. And got a little little guy right here, and this lobster clasp has a little hole here on the end, and I will just run my ring right through the clasp and this is just attaching a good way to secure uh, between our glove and the strap we'll be using just run it around this guy's a little too thick to go around the whole thing and just move freely so what I do is I'll just run it all the way through and then once it's all the way through it's on there pretty tight. It's not going to rotate, but it's going to stay in there securely. Next thing I'll use is what we call soft elastic stretch. Uh, you can get either elastic or non-elastic material, but this is what I got. It's pretty th narrow. It's probably, I don't know, eighth of an inch, there we go, that I use. You can use any kind of width you want, elastic or non-elastic. So the first step I'll do is I'll take my elastic, this part's probably the most difficult part of this whole thing, is I'll run my elastic through the loop and I'll fold it over. And at this point, I'm gonna use what they call cord and crimps that I found in the jewelry area. Oops, they're falling out all over the place. And it comes in multiple sizes. And I'll usually use the small or the medium size uh, crimp. There it is, it's gonna focus. Um, yeah, just that little guy right there. It's just an open area that I could put right in here onto my cord. And I'll just feed it in there just like so. See? Yeah, this. And then I will get my needle nose pliers. And how these things work, or at least how I do them, is I'll fold over one side initially make sure both ends are in there and I will fold over the one side this side's like wanting to come out I'll fold one side over move on to the other side then I'll just squeeze the crap out of it so it won't go nowhere and if you have any extra excess material here you can just cut that off with a pair of scissors this one's not too bad. So at this point I got my one end made and what you don't want to do is make a cord too short because then it'll be super tight when you put it around your wrist. So what I'll do is I'll get my cord, wrap it around my wrist and then fold it over to about something like that. And then just based on the wrist size you'd want to adjust this. And then I'll have a bunch of extra space here. So I'll take where I measured, chop that off. And at that point, I'll feed it around my wrist one more time. Put it to where it needs to go. 
approximately right there. Then I'll take it off. And this elastic's so stretchy, so it's pretty good. And same thing I did earlier. I'll fold over my cord. I will get my crimps back, cord and crimps. It's a larger one right here. See if it makes it a little bit easier. Probably easier to do. Okay, so I'll fold it in there. I'll get my needle noses, squeeze one end down. Oh, those do go real good. And then I'll fold over the other end, pinch the crap out of it. Okay, that's not going nowhere. Then I'll get my scissors, clip off the excess. There we go. At that point, I'll have me a wrist strap for my glove. I'll throw my wrist in there. Oh, wrong wrist. Throw on the glove, and these mints are really good, these car hearts. And it's kind of ghetto, you know, it's white, but you could probably find some cord that matches your glove color. But now at this point, I um, can feel free to take off my glove and not going to have to worry about it falling off while I'm on a ski lift. All right, well, cool. If you have any questions, just let me know. All right, thanks.